Hello everyone, welcome back to Atlas Fallen. Let's go ahead and jump right into the caves. I'm assuming I can get that chest from the caves, but if not, we'll have to come back out to it. Ooh. Alright, well, we're turning back now. There's nothing down here, right? Ivory Shroom. Nice. Cave Temple. Okay, well, I guess we... Oh, gosh. Shit. He has no idea how lucky he is. Alright. Not gonna target the wall there. Let's try this again. There we go. Walled, bro. I'm not gonna shatter him because I want to make sure. Okay, that looks like that was the only guy here. Okay, good. I just didn't want to like shatter him and then you know have to fight something bigger and better. I mean, I may still have to yet, but we'll worry about that when when, we, when it gets to it. Ooh. This trouble is futile. And your end inevitable. Come, let us. End this. Okay. It's about to do its thing. There we go. Oh. Hello up there. Heaver. Okay, it's easy enough. Well, let me kill. Eh, I could probably ignore the ad for now, honestly. Oh gosh.
we go. Oh gosh, I didn't even see that one coming. Okay. Dodge the wave. Alright. Let's go ahead and shatter him. There's probably one more boss, but that's fine. I just kind of want to shatter him for fun. Is my audio bugged? What's going on? Seems a lot quieter. Maybe not. Okay. Let's grab the shiny up here. Hold on a second. I feel like my audio... I did change my audio settings slightly, but... Maybe... Maybe that... Maybe that... Maybe turning that down is doing a lot more than I thought it was going to. Um, let me try that. It could also just be bugged. I, I forgot to close the game last time I played it, and so... Um, it's just been running in the background uh, on the Series X's... Uh, what's it called? feature uh play later or whatever it is so it, the game just like minimizes but it's still like running so even when that console is off so what do i do oh yeah that's right i have to crush it okay Delos's barrier is no more we have to do this everyone is counting on us form kendra about the barrier wait so is this like it like is this it it i just realized the quest is literally titled Battle of the Gods. Like, I knew it was titled that, but I didn't realize what that meant. Is this actually, like, the end game? Like, is this the last mission? I feel like I missed something over there, but maybe, maybe not? I mean, there is a chest nearby. Let me go over there and check and see if there's a chest over here. I feel like I would have I would hide something up there, but then again. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. There is a chest near here that I've, I'm not seeing, though. Where could this be? Maybe over here on the other, si other side of the skate that I missed? No. Unless it's on top of the gate, which is possible. Oh! Okay, well that's not a chest, but this is a shiny that I missed. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, here we go. Walked right past that. I mean, at this point, I don't think the chests can really offer me any... Oh, okay, so there is another one here somewhere. Let me go up here and make sure... It could just be, like, on the way up. What I was saying is that at this point in the game, I don't really feel like the chest, <laughs> like, there's really nothing they can offer me that's like, oh, I have to have this. Um, I mean, the co there's the cosmetic items, which I want just because of the achievement, but I don't really care about... I don't really care about them. Okay, where the heck could this be? What am I not seeing here? Is there one on one of those pillars? No. Ow. Uh. Well, it's 
probably one that's just kind of like hidden in plain sight. They like to like to do that a lot. Like just behind some rubble or like peering out of the sand. Okay, it's not over here. The only other guess is maybe on the ledges here. Although I'm still not in the range of it. I guess it could have could just be above me too and it's just showing while I'm down here, but Yeah, I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna go up. It really makes it seem like it's on this uh Oh, there it is. Literally right in that corner. Okay. You know what's funny is I even thought about like I I, I could have sworn I even looked down here, but I don't think I looked that close to the, the corner. I kind of just like looked right there and was like, oh, I don't see it. And moved on. Whatever. Okay, we got that. Let's go talk to Kendra. See what she has to say about all this. Old coin. Radiant leaves, nice. What treasure is this? I feel like it's it'd be hard for me to miss, but let me let me look just in case. Uh, rock with a view in the highest place behind the swamps by a crooked tree. Only through the mountain will you get there. Okay. So over here it looks like yep, there it is. I could have seen that without looking map, but whatever. Spitting toy. Nice. And preserved spices. Hell yeah. to go this way. Or that uh, heaver, rather. I do still need to go and uh, kill a scatter using its own bombs. Okay, there we go, that one's done. Tributes. Okay. So Kendra is probably over here. It looks like, yeah. Oh, this is like a whole ass encampment right here. Has this always been here? Did I just miss it? What happened at the siege? We have taken the city. What do you want, dude? Good that you are here. Can I help with anything? We were barely able to take this outpost. If we want to keep it, the wraiths need to back. There is one nasty. If you could deal with this foe, they have been dealt with. Ah, this is great. And I am just the best, aren't I? Uh, when using an active stone, high chance to automatically generate momentum for 10 seconds. Uh, after shattering, your essence stones remain active for 5 seconds. 
After shattering, your essence stones remain active for five seconds? What does that mean? Like, can I shatter and then still use my essence stones? Is that what that's saying? Like, I can still use my, like, tier three active stone for five seconds after I shot shatter? That's kind of cool. Defeat a Watcher's Fury. We took down the protection. Thank you. We have. S I wanted to honor Valerie before all hell breaks loose. Sure. Let's honor the. F we are gathered here to honor the memory of a great warrior and scholar. My sister, Valerie Aquila Taj. She was a woman of belief in the cause, in her friends oh, and water. family. In the power of things unseen, the gauntlet was her passion at the end. She believed in it. Even when others did not, she was right. And she is the reason we stand upon the precipice of victory over tyranny. You were the best of us. Thank you, sister. And... Farewell. Look at that sunset, man. Shit's nuts. It is a big ass sun, too. She would have loved how the sea looks tonight. At least she has seen it. Not everyone can. We have been in hiding so long. We almost forgot what is out there in the world. Uh, you almost forgot what is out there in the world. Uh, Valerie, this let us sacrifice here. sacrifice is why we stand here today. This is a new era for the Knights of Bastingar. And this era has a place for you, Arif. You... You really mean that? Yes. This is not about forgiveness. It's about our future. I... Thank you. And you. I didn't believe. Couldn't believe. You have lost so many souls. But you are not. We will remain here. Keep the wraiths at bay. The rest... Good luck to the both of you. Hmm. Reef uh, definitely seems Reef like he's a stand-up chap. Journey. It has been long and tiring, but we will change the world. I know it. I would like to say something. It has been. I I mean, this this journey was. It's all right. I know. Thank you. Gauntlet bear. Hmm. It'd, be, it'd be really cool if we could like have a cosmetic item that turned like Cassandra. Like if she had that same blue effect on her, like he has, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. I think. Sure has seen times um, is that? Yeah. Let me go get that. There's an achievement for getting 20 of these. I think so. Get that POI. I keep calling them POIs, but they're really just vantage points. I don't know why I keep calling them that. How do I even get up to that? Maybe you have to like do a hop, skip, and a jump to get up there. gonna work. How in the heck? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm... Is it... Wasn't there a path thing over here? Yeah. I'm stupid. There should be a castle. I thought I had already done this path. If... I bet this is how I get up there. Okay, I was just saying, where are you, where are you going, bro? 
thought maybe it was gonna make me jump on the the terrain to get up to the to the thing. There we go. Nice. Are you going to Did I already have that one? Locations of the treasures. Let us mark some of them on our map. Okay, there's one down there. I bet that's the one I missed when I was coming back from the the ruins up top there. I don't think I had already gotten that one, but it didn't pop up with like vantage point vantage point discovered. I just heard it say that, but I didn't actually see anything pop up. This seems like a trap. Yep. Take that! How'd that feel? I bet not good. Just crawl my way to this damn thing. <laughs> Bullshit. I, I really feel like they should have made this um, quicksand a little bit more, you know, threatening. Idol of Trade massively increases restoration rate of your idol, but its healing is significantly reduced. No. No thanks. Like, when I first heard them, like, when I said that looked like quicksand for the first time, I legitimately thought that it was going to be like, I go in there and the more I move, the more I'm going to get, like, sucked down until I'm killed. I thought that's how that was going to work. I didn't realize it was just going to slow me. Seems a bit, uh... Bit redundant, considering I can just fly basic basically. All right, let's see what uh, what this does. We're probably gonna fight Morath here, unless Morath is like the final boss fight, like he fuses with Delos or something. But this is it. This. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you should have stayed in your prison, old partner. What did he what did you just say? Old partner? Where is he, a cowboy? Stayed in your prison, partner. That was an awful, awful impression of a careful southern accent, but don't, don't question it. Got an achievement just now. I didn't really see what it was for. Foolish. I may be the worst nature. Come to me, my servant. You're big.
I'm gonna do a blue attack, just like the Shell Basher. No. Take my form! Gosh, I just realized like, how many parts he has on him. Right, get rid of that healer. What are you doing over there, buddy? Oh, gosh. Take that! Okay, that did a lot less damage than I thought it was going to. to do here? Uh, am I supposed to like dodge those I guess? No? Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. What's happening? I'm just gonna assume that it's just good things. Take my orb, motherfucker! See, so he. Those red orb things are actually what's destroying the platforms. Oh, I can deflect them. I see. Okay. Cool. Ooh, nice. I wonder if I can get like all of them. Oh my gosh, I am. really likes the tag, it would seem. So this guy's like a culmination of all the other, like, attacks from the other race, it seems like. Very good, did it, buddy? Ow, ow, ow. Meow, meow, meow.
big oh shit okay well <laughs> there we go <laughs> oh cool. quest complete what the hell happened there what is happening Where yeah i don't I? think that was actually too awesome but like, i'm sure i still have to fight him i have the order of this world i made this world this world and you destroyed it I am your prisoner no more let us end this partner, partner. you don't need me and I don't need this I... that is the loss of source Use it! Use it to destroy the Watcher! Okay. What are you doing? Stop! Big smash! Oh my gosh. Taking care of it. So, is that gonna like... Oh my gosh! And with this... Godslayer. After centuries, the Watcher was destroyed. That was the end of the game? What? The prison crumbled. The essence cycle was broken. Niall was free. Free to breathe. Free to live. Free to rule. The unthinkable had happened. Thelos was defeated. They left this earthly plane. Their anger and oppression dissipated. The wraiths left alongside their master. Change had come with the gauntlet bearer, who in but a short amount of time reshaped everything. Every person found themselves in a new world. A world in which they have yet to find their place. The Knights can show themselves now. We can become a force for good once more. I only hope. I am up to the task. The Queen of a Thousand Years will not shape this world any longer. She will atone for her sins and accept her punishment. Will she live to reach the age for which she is known? Who can say? I do not know what the future holds for Nihal. They rule over this world now. But how will they treat the people? Have they learned about them? The gauntlet bearer left the fight. But the gauntlet remains still brimming with the power of the gods. This world now has a future. Flowers will bloom where now desert exists. But if the winds change once more, the gauntlet will call for a new bearer. Okay, well, that, there it is. There's the end. Damn. I did not think that was going to end like that. I thought for sure we had uh, more shit to, to fight. I thought we were going to actually have to fight, what's his face? Uh, Thelos himself, but I guess not. All right, cool. Um, I, I liked the game. I liked it a lot. I think it was a lot of fun. Um, I think that a lot of the trouble that I had... Uh, for the first like half of this playthrough was really my own fault I, I don't think you need to be a genius to realize that i was having a difficult time playing the game because i didn't know how to play it and i didn't take the time to actually get good and instead was bitching and moaning at the game i want to make something very clear to everyone that is how i play games that is just how i do stuff um 
that is, every game I play, I, I do exactly that. So when you hear me bitching and moaning and complaining about the game, really it's just me bitching and moaning, complaining that I'm too lazy to get good and it's my fault. Um, I just that's just ho always how I've been. I, I can't change it. That's just how I roll. Um, I do think that the game did have a lot of bugs, which I expected. I mean, it's not a AAA team. I mean, this game isn't like, you know, going to be a platinum hit, you know. Uh, why is it going fast all of a sudden? I didn't... Oh, there we go. I guess I must have hit something. Um, th this game, you know, doesn't have a billion dollars behind it. Um, but I do think that it had a lot of bugs that, for the most part, were really not a big deal i mean it sucked that that one chest in the underground area i couldn't get i still don't know what's what's in it i mean for all i know it could have been a game changing item i i have no idea um, i'm gonna still try to go back and get it but um yeah, i'm not too worried about about it right now um i do think that there were some balancing things that i would have liked to have been changed i felt like i just felt like there were certain certain enemies that felt a little bit too easy and then there were some that felt like they were a little bit overtuned um like the conjurer for example I, I think that guy well i think that goes into my next point in that i really didn't like that many of the fights were made difficult and i say difficult with air quotes they were made difficult because they just added a bunch of ads for you to kill I am not a fan of that in games, any game. Um, to me, just adding a bunch of popcorn enemies, as I remember them being called when I was watching a Treyarch stream years ago, you know, popcorn enemies that aren't really there to be a challenge, but are rather there to distract you so the main enemy can kill you. I think that's a very lazy way to go about making a game difficult. Um, and that's just my opinion. I think that... It's one thing to have a few ads in boss fights where the ads actually are providing you valuable resources. For example, Remnant, you know, if, an, if you kill an ad in Remnant, you're going to get ammunition from it. So there's a reason to kill it. Now, I still think Remnant had a little bit too much ads, but that's not about that game right now. So I, I just think that that was kind of a cop out by them. I think what they I think that the focus should have been to actually make the enemies hard by themselves in order to each of them provide a challenge because what what it really was it was like all of the all of the enemies literally every single boss enemy in the game was about the same difficulty but certain ones were harder because they would just add a bunch of ads in them i mean the shell bashers for example the shell bashers by themselves were quite easy especially when i figured out how to dodge that essence training attack i just needed to jump cause, but i was like trying to dodge it like i'm an idiot um like that, but the shell bashers by themselves were super easy enemies. They only had a few moves, but them having, you know, having to focus on ads that I can only kill when I, when they attack me, you know, to open them up so I can freeze them, that just made those fights really difficult, um, for me at least. Um, so I just think that I, I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, and the conjurer, th that whole boss was designed about around that, which is why I really did not like him. Um, but other than that, I mean, the game really ran well. I had two crashes in my entire playthrough, which some people would argue that's too, too many. I, being someone who plays many games day one and plays them, you know, a lot, I binge play them. Um, you know, frankly, two crashes is pretty good. You know, if we compare that with games like Saints Row, which recently came out, well, not recently, but came out, I think, earlier this year, maybe late last year i can't remember but like that game triple a title a lot of a lot more money behind that than this and that game crashed a fuck ton you know um so i think that this game only having two crashes really wasn't a big deal um and, and thankfully the auto save system was very frequent so it i mean both crashes was like oh I, my game crashed and then i was right back in where i like left off so um all in all i think this game I would rate it, uh, I'd say like a 7 out of 10, I'd say a 7 out of 10, um, and that's probably being a little bit too too nice, only because I did, do feel like it was a little bit overpriced, I think it would have been, 
I think the the sweet spot for the price would have been right about around forty dollars, maybe forty five. Um, but paying premium price for this, I mean, I got a I got a lot of time out of it. So I guess it's really up to you. Like, do you? I mean, it's about a 20, 25 hour game. Um, maybe twenty five hours if you're doing like completionist. You know, is that worth sixty bucks when you have games like Elden Ring, which are easily like hundred hour games and are also the same price? You know. That's really up to you. I personally think it was a little bit overpriced. I think it should have been around 40 bucks. Um, but I, I'm excited to see if this develop, dev team uh, makes something more out of this. I would love to see some DLC. I would maybe in the far future love to see even a sequel. So um, thank you everyone so much for watching this uh, Let's Play. This is my first full-length Let's Play uh, on the channel where I actually, you know, talk and shit. Um, on top of that, I think it, I think this is the first game I've played on the channel that I hadn't already played, to be honest. So, um, it, it's definitely very different recording videos on a game that I've never played before and finding everything for the first time instead of, like, my Resident Evil 7 playthrough where I knew exactly what to do, when to do it. So, it was quite a lot of fun. I'm excited to see where they go with this. And, uh, yeah, I'm really thankful for anyone and everyone who uh, have watched uh, these videos. Somebody on my, uh, videos has, has been, like, liking every single one, so I thank that person, whoever they are, for doing that. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.